standing here, I recollect the time ten years back when I was sitting amongst you. I had a billion dreams. Walking down the galleries of my school ten years back, hopping happy because a teacher gave me stars in my answer sheet. I felt mighty proud. I would sometimes stare at night sky, thinking, why would I, when would I visit the world full of stars? But then, I realized that we have the kids of nation at the power to hand those stars to our parents so that they can let them fix on our shoulders. I'm Captain Shiksha Guru and today it's my honor to be here sharing my experience with the future of my nation. It being an army school, I'm sure all of you have seen your fathers getting immaculately dressed up early morning in his sparkling olive uni uni uniform. His shoes and shoulders with the name of his regiment shining and his chest filled with pride. I'm too proud to be a daughter of a soldier and my mornings were nothing better than yours. I've always been proud of my father for his service that he gave to the nation. But 10 March 2018, when he fixed the stars on my shoulder, I'm telling you kids, his eyes were watery. His chest doubled the size because it was his daughter today, who was taking the baton from him for serving the nation. For a father, there can be nothing more greater than seeing his child step into his shoes. Different stages of life. Every stage of life is the foundation for the next stage of life. Every stage of life must be lived fully. The older we get, we realize Life was better when we were kids. And when we are kids, we ask and we think why we are not getting old. Why mama is asking to do this? Why I am not able to take my own decisions? But trust me, every stage of life that you struggle and you go through will shape you more beautiful and will shape you stronger. All comes one by one. You cannot jump from one step to the third. You need to wait, perceive and then go ahead. Life is like a ladder. Every challenge you achieve gets you one step higher. If you ask me, Shiksha ma'am, how was your journey? How difficult was it? I would say it was fun, thrilling and certainly felt like a drama. But behind all this fun and action, there is a lot of hard work and grit and the determination. I have done my schooling from St. Mary's Convent School and graduated my engineering from Graphic Era University. For a year, I was working as an assistant professor in Tulas Institute one of the engineering college of Herald. I wanted to join army, so I had always made myself clear that I will fulfill the basic criteria so that I can go through my SSB. So it was like a tough decision from selecting PCM as a subject after 10 from then till by opting my career in civil engineering, the decision was tough. The struggle is always hard. You always have to think if this decision will be good for you or not in the future. That moment when you have to just think that if it will work for you or not will always be a challengeful process. I was blessed to have guide from my brother-in-law who gave me suggestion to study engineering as it will help me to get selected through short service technical entry scheme. So I followed my dream. A right guy 
at the right moment is all that you need for. BTEC Civil Engineering fulfills the basic criteria to be called for SSDs in all three courses. I made a choice, did my engineering, maintained my CGPA as you are always called if your merit is high. Why I chose teasing, teaching was just because I wanted to prepare for my SSD and side by side I was preparing for some other government exam. I believe that you should always have a backup plan. But though this joining of codes and that determination never fell off from my life. I was working hard for it and thus I gave my SSD. Hard work will give you success in one go is not always a sure thing. Yes, you will be tested and you need to have patience for it. I was called for SSD three times. Firstly for Navy where I was conferenced out. Secondly for Army, I made it but could not made it till merit. Thirdly and lastly, I was called for OTA channel. Once you go to academy, you forget the world outside. All you want is to sleep, eat and just to be away from all the punishment. Academy shapes you for 11 months and all basic military training that you learn in the academy will make you a strong, smart young officer. Getting trained with same physical standards, tests, run back with your fellow male officers made me more confident and had given me the opportunity to learn more from them. Once you become an officer, there is no lady or no male officer. There is just an officer. After 49 weeks of vigorous and intense training on 10th March 2018, I donned this olive green and got commissioned to 53 Engineer Regiment. Another adventure of my life that I was waiting for since I dreamt of becoming a soldier. Becoming an officer was easy, but becoming a sapper officer was a challenging too. My young officer's training was conducted in CME Pune, Maharashtra. We were told the basics of what our regiment does. All the basics of engineers that are done in combat arms are taught to us. From bridging the gaps to laying the mines, we were all trained hard day and night. During the course, I was awarded Best Woman Body Pair in Vyos Warrior akin to Ghatak, wherein you are tested for 5 days which includes cross country runs, run backs, night navigation, obstacle training, firing, watermanship training and practical knowledge testing. Let's see what all engineers do. A little more attitude, a little less attitude. When my unit was in late, I got the opportunity to pursue my adventure course. I did my basic mountaineering course from Army Institute of Siachen Glacier. 28 days of technical and basic mountaineering course with 5 other male officers and 38 other ranks I completed the course with Alpha grading. We were taught ice climbing, rock climbing, 
avalanche rescue and scale 15,000 feet high during the course. Advanced mountaineering course at Siachen Base Camp. After my basic course, I was sent for my advanced course in Army Institute of Mountaineering Siachen Base Camp. Being the only lady officer in the course, I was challenged for all the advanced techniques and navigation exercises and survive in the coldest weather at the highest battlefield. The total of 28 days course, I learned two pitten climbing, descending route opening, ice climbing and completed peak summit of 18,000 feet at Siachen Base Camp. Life is a dangerous game. Unexpected things happen at unexpected times. After all that I did in my mountaineering course, I was expecting a call for my expedition. But God will not always give you what you want in your life. My body was unexpectedly triggered with Billy Brain Syndrome, GBS. I was traveling by train and my legs got weakened. I lost my vision and I was struggling to breathe. The train journey that I took from Ahmedabad till Mumbai was the longest journey I could have ever made in my life. Fortunately, I was going to my sister's house and I was taken to INHS Ashwini Kolaba immediately. I got admitted the moment I reached there and the moment I opened my eyes, the only thing I could move was my, were my eyes. It was a shock for me. I was in pain. I could not tell it to anybody because I was having a trepostom. I was in ICU for 33 days and hospitalized for 55 days. I could not imagine my life lying down on bed and depending on people. I was all shattered to see myself on the bed. All I was praying was to recover and go back to my work. I was in the best of the hospital, but no one had an answer to my question. When will I walk? My friends, my relatives and doctors used to console me. My regiment gave me courage and strength at the weakest point of my life. I was weak, but I didn't give up. My mother was there to support me. She was there and she used to tell me, Shiksha, you need to walk on your own. Poch to ne bed me late ne ke liye join nahi kiya. With her, I got all the confidence and courage. And with all the prayers and blessings, and with the willpower, I was able to stand on my feet. Yes, I was the one who made a recorded, who made a recovery in the recorded time of three months. Generally, this takes six months to a year to recover. But I was the 5% case of the GBS who went to, through the ventilator and came back strongly without any residue. Accidents not always break you. They shape you and make you even better. I was still recovering. It seemed as if nothing has ever happened as I was back on my feet and I was working all day and night with my regiment and was performing all my duties that were assigned to me. A sapper officer will always live with their motto, Sarvatra, fulfilling all tactical and technical approaches. Be it combat or administrative issues, sappers are omnipresent. Let's see what our regiment has done so far.
Then here are the links that you can follow. They are in the ADGPI link. The URL are as such. My journey you can find in hashtag inspiration. And for the unit operation sahayata that we have made in Lake is being displayed in this URL link. You can follow and check the videos. See kids, life will always challenge you for something better. If I had lost hopes then, I would have never ever have made it till now. It's not just my story. It's a story of every person, every human being who is being tested and being challenged at every new upcoming phase of his life. All you need to do is trust your instincts, work hard and get what is waiting for you. Nobody will bring success to you. And it will always be you who will create a difference. With this, I would like to sum up and wish that my future nation will give the best of their life. Remember, trust yourself that you can do it. And go and get it. Thank you, Jai